While thrown duct cysts affect approximately 2% of females, usually in their third decade, that is the 20s, they are caused by obstruction of the vestibular orifice of the Bartholin's duct, and the cyst is located in the vulva near the vaginal opening on either side of the labia. So very simply the Bartholin duct becomes obstructed, secretions accumulate and a cyst forms. In order to appreciate the types of lining that can be found in a Bartholin duct cyst, it is worth having a look at the duct itself to see what it is lined by. So the distal part is lined by mucinous columnar epithelium, the central part by transitional epithelium, and the orifice by stratified squamous epithelium. So the cyst lining may be either one or a combination of glandular, transitional or squamous epithelium. And over time the lining may become flattened and a complication of a Bartholin's duct cyst is formation of an abscess. At the bottom left of the picture is a Bartholin's gland and the purpose of the gland is to produce the lubrication for the vagina. And moving to the top right hand corner, the duct comes into view. This part of the Bartholin's duct cyst is lined by transitional epithelium. Here we see stratified squamous epithelium, non keratinizing, of course. And finally is the mucinous columnar epithelium.